Okay, so this is a little demonstration on the um, Schoeninger uh, parlor organ. That's a uh, model with the bells. So where were we? We just do a hymn and then a. Um, and the one with the bell to show the bells. Um... This has a fan box humana, and that um, that makes the bells actually even nicer than the earlier models, where they, they've had just a regular tremulant, you know, a clapper tremulant. So this is this is pretty neat on a, for an instrument like this. Um, and anyway, I'm, tr I'm trying to in, in a lot of places I'm trying just to bring out the bells on the top melody note because. If you play very softly in legato, you can bring the organ sound out and, and just, just hit the melody. So, anyway, if it works, it works, but uh, here we go.
off the plane on the Shoney. Um, so I'm just going to run through the stops real quick, the demonstration, I guess you can see the keyboard. Um, so it has a regular 8 foot. Those reeds are in the in the back. The main four foot set is in the front, which is right back here. You can see this is the um, external swell that's controlled by the, the knee swell. So it opens the regular conventional inner swell shutter and at the same time opens the, um, the front flap here. So that's pretty effective. Foot out. Um, next stop, well, it has a soft, the only soft stops really on the organ are these two um, the Dulciana Violina, which is the, the, soft, the soft stop to the main eight foot rank. So that's, that's not bad. And Celeste in the treble. <coughs> Pardon me, which is so there's the there's the voicing of the regular diapason row, but in this case they call it viola. That's the main eight eight foot. Here's the Celeste. Now the Celeste is in front again, right over the, the four foot flute reed, so the Celeste Celeste is, has a little bit more volume, I guess. But the voicing is definitely different on the, the viola. The viola, I would actually say, it sounds a little bit more clarinet-like. has kind of an aw sound. And so there's the Celeste. Now when you play them together, this has a really prettily tuned fuck Celeste. in the treble is a 16 and they call it trombo. I have never heard that stop name before so I've been piddling around with reed organs for about 30 years now and I've never heard of the stop called trombo. Occasionally you come actually uh, you know you have an actual stop called trombone which of course is a big you know horn kind of sound or you know in pipe organ nomenclature trombone is a sort of a solo reed um, but anyway <laughs> Sometimes on, uh, on parlor organs they have a 16 foot stop. It's sometimes really bad sounding, in my opinion, stop. Um, not well voiced at all. And this is great. This is a really great sound. Um, it's smooth. Uh, it's, it's, it's not too loud and it's not too reedy. It's a, it's a little bit more reedy. Then, then the foundation stop. I guess is it more more reedy than the um, Celeste? Yeah, it's a little more reedy than Celeste, but it's not a, it's not too much. And then you can combine that with the uh, the the four, so that you can get an eight plus two effect. For some reason, the diapason forte stop is labeled diapason dolce, so it has this stop that opens up, opens up the volume shutter over the back row of reeds. So it makes the the uh, trombo, it makes the trombo and the diapason or the viola in this case louder, but. I don't know, maybe the stop got, face got lost and the, uh, it was replaced with one that for some reason says Dolce, but it's the opposite, it's Forte. And it's also got a front uh, 
forte flat control. So for instance, for the Celeste, you can pull that. And so you can selectively, you can balance the organ in different ways, exclusive of using the, the knee levers. So of course, this one opens the um, this one opens the forte flap just enough so that it doesn't open the external shutter because they 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 kind of they, they fiddled with the control on this so that the inner valve the inner uh, swell shade opens first and then the outer one opens. So just opening that doesn't affect the external ones. That that sort of is a different gradation tone. So in the bass, it's got. It's got a great big sub bass, and of course it's got couplers, which is normal, and you've heard the, got the, the forefoot and the bass. So that's what it's got. Then of course it's got the bells. So the bells run from the G below middle C up to the top C. So. And it's got a Vox Humana, and that's a regular fan turning, you know, two, a two-bladed, uh, two-veined fan that turns in the, in the back of the organ. So it, oh, and the lid opens, so that, this will let the bells out better. So you can literally hear that shimmery, uh, Vox Humana working there, because there it is without. There it is with. Now what we'll do is I'll let you hear the um, what is it uh, the trombo. demonstration and uh, a couple pieces and um, here hope you liked it thank you